Contractors game. Oh, that's a great one. Yeah, and when we're doing a really great nifty relay, relay race game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, something tells me that it's a skyscraper scramble. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Boy, oh boy, we're gonna have some fun today. What do you say? Let's get started by meeting our pushy boys. Let's hit the board, Joshua. Hey. <laughs> well, good morning, Josh. How you doing, pal? Welcome to the Bozo Show. You've been chosen out of all the pals that came down today to be my special helper. So we're going to give you some really great prizes. But boy, oh boy, I really want to say welcome to the Bozo Show. Where do you live? Mm, Glen Riddle. Glen Riddle, Pennsylvania. Oh, here, let me tilt this back a little bit so all the pals can see the handsome face there. <laughs> see the handsome faces, I understand. Oh, wait, what was that? Do that again. Mm. Oh, that's good. <laughs> You look like my Aunt Bozette there when you no. do <laughs> Hey, do you do any other goofy faces? No. That's just the only one you do. And you do that a lot in class, don't you? Yeah. Well, what do you know? Let's hear it for my pussy boy, Josh! <laughs> Our goofy pal helping us out with a real goofy time here on the Bozo Show. And you know what I want you to do? I want you to help me get all the pals here in the Bozo studio to stand up so we can do our Pledge of Allegiance to the flag. Come on, Josh, and everybody, everybody stand up. Yes, pals, I don't you stand up, too. Put your hands over your heart. All together now. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Yay! Good job, pal. Take a seat. <laughs> Pals, you take a seat, because wow, oh, oh, we were getting into the great fun here with, I promise you, the Skyscraper Scramble. Take it away, Susie! Yeah. Come on, pals, little more, little more. Oh, my God, hey, Andre, you got to put him back up. Tag him all back. Oh, my gosh. Keep going, keep going. Who's next? Keep going. Oh, my gosh. That's it. Boy, look at him go. <laughs> These pals really, whoa! Stack them all up, stack them all up. You stack, whoa, the door. Stack them all back up. Here you go. Get them all, get them all. Boy, these pals are doing a great job. Oh, my gosh, good. You can build it any way you want. Keep on and going. Oh, my gosh. Don't let it fall. Don't let it fall. Keep on going. Oh, my gosh. Whoa! Put them all back up there, Karen. In the meantime, these pals. Boy, oh boy, they're going with, my gosh. <laughs> well, these pals are using the flat service, and these pals are using all the pointed services. I don't know how they're ever going to build this building. <laughs> they would make Frank Lloyd right proud, let me tell you. Keep on going, yeah. Whoa. Here, Laura, turn around this side. Turn around that side. Here we go. Pals, help me out. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. One. Now wait just a second, right at the end there, she knocked the table and knocked a couple of them over. So this is going to be really hard to judge here. Well, let me see. We'll see how it comes on the fringes right there. Well, it comes up right to the, about the bottom of that fringe. And let's see if this one comes to the bottom of the fringe. Pals, I think we have a tie here. What do you say? Let's give all the prizes to all the pals. And those prizes are Reese's Pieces all around and Juicy Juice from Libby's all around. Let's hear it for all players today doing a great skyscraper scramble. <laughs> well, pals, unless you live in a skyscraper and you got to scramble away, stay right where you are because we're coming back with a great day of fun on the Bozo Show. Don't you know? <laughs> 
So do bad guys. Sprinkles! Let's get them! Fortunately, they're defended by two heroes, Apple and Cinnamon. Good throws after our delicious apple sprinkles. No, Leafhead, it's the cinnamon sprinkles they're after. Now, come on, let's save the sprinkles. <laughs> Thanks to Apple and Cinnamon, Apple Cinnamon Cheerios is part of this balanced breakfast. It's apple-licious and cinnamon credible. Ah, for a good night's sleep. What's going on down there? Why, it's the Rock and Roll Internal with Leo on lead guitar, Rap on bass, Don on keyboard, and Mike is the rip rap and lead singer. With the Rock and Roll Turtles, there'll be no sleeping tonight. From Playmate. General Hawk's got something to say. New G.I. Joe Talking Battle Commander. Beats says three different battle commands. And an all-new combat sound. There's Stalker. Cobra Commander. Overkill. And General Hawk. G.I. Joe Talking Battle Commander. Beats all separately. On the next Saved by the Bell, Screech's parents are leaving town. Here are a few little house rules. And the guys are ready for some risky business. But it ain't a party until something gets broke. Looks like the king is dead. Can the gang bring Elvis back to life? I got it, I got it. <laughs> on Saved by the Bell. Tonight at 5.30 here on Philly 57. Secret Pop Quiz. It's a great tasting popcorn and it's a quiz. Today's challenge, new neon green. One of six popcorn colors. Matt here will try to find it. Great hair, Plato. New color, new do. Clock's ticking. Door number three. Let's see. Whoa. Keep guessing. Fourteen. No, sir. Why? We've got a winner. Here on Pop Quiz, where the big question is, what'll pop up next? I wish school were only recess. I wish they had just broken the Olympics. I'm kidding. When you wish on a treasure troll, who knows what might happen? Treasure trolls are the only trolls that have a jewel in their tummy that you can wish on. What would you wish for? I wish shoes tied to the south. Treasure trolls with the jewel you wish on from Ace. And I smell a rat slicing through the swamp. It's a pack of cobra rats with spinning saw blades and deadly rotor missiles. But Goop's got the G.I. Joe Barracuda with dive action tablets for real submarine action and torpedoes that fire. fire! G.I. Joe, Joe Barracuda and cobra rats sold separately. Mind if I cut in? Talk about your close shave! Ben's hiding a terrible secret. Is your butt making a phone call? And only dear brother Mike can help. I'm in terrible trouble. I'm at the end of my rope. Ben's sneaking around with a girl he doesn't really like just to be popular. <laughs> and when mom and dad find out... I'll tell you everything and I won't hold anything back. Can Mike save the day? How much have you told him? On the next Growing Pains. Tonight at 6.30 here on Philly 57. time of the show it is now, don't you? You got it. It's time for the Grand Prize Game! Yeah. <laughs> wow, 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 wow. 
And one pal that was yelling out grand prize games loud and clear was this pal right here. What's your name? Grace. Grace, where do you live, Grace? Violin, New Jersey. Violin, New Jersey? You're almost all the way down to the shore, huh? Yeah. Boy, oh boy, it's a little cold right now, but where, where do, you, do you go down to the beach a lot? No, not that much. What, what do you do in Violin? Um, I don't know. I don't really do anything. I play outside. And you watch the Bozo Show, right? Yeah. What do you say? Let's hear it for Grace with a nice big Bozo smile. <laughs> Yes, indeed, do. And my pussy boy doing a great job. What's your name again there, pal? Josh. Josh, yeah. And this big pal came down to help us out on the grand prize game. What's your name? Don. Don, how do you know Grace? She's my niece. <laughs> She's your niece? Yeah. Wow, are there any other nieces and nephews around? Uh, yeah, a couple of them. Uh, Jessica over there. My daughter, Felicia's over there. Well, so you brought the whole family <laughs> up from yeah, Vineland, huh? Yeah, it's a bunch of them. Well, you, you live in Vineland, too? I live in Mays Landing. Mays Landing? Oh, yeah. that's, that's where the courthouse is and all that, that's right? That's right. Is that Kingman right. County? Where's Atlantic uh, County? Atlantic County. Atlantic County. Well, here. that's great. Let's hear it for Don and Grace and all the pals here on the Grand Prize Game. <laughs> and you know, there's another pal who's going to be winning all the prizes that Grace is today. That's our home player of the day. Let's hear it for Lauren Young of Berwyn, Pennsylvania. Look at her pretty picture on the Super Duper Telescooper. Good luck to you, Lauren. Let's hope Grace is a real good shot. I want you to win lots of prizes today. Now, Grace, you know how to play the game, right? You're going to grab a ping pong ball from Josh there and try to get it into each of the six buckets. And for each ping pong ball that goes in and stays in, <laughs> you're going to get a super terrific prize. And if you manage to get one, two, three, four, five, and manage to get it into the sixth bucket, wow, you're going to take home a family membership to the Academy of Natural Sciences at Lincoln the Parkway in Philadelphia. Some wonderful prizes to be won, and it's not so far down the violin to come up for that prize, is it? No, she says it's not. Boy, I sure hope you win them. Well, I think we're just about ready to play the game, so why don't you grab a ping pong ball from Josh there? But don't throw that ball just yet, because pals in the audience, I want you to put your hands up. What do you say? Everybody get their hands up. Yeah. No, you pass it home. You get your hands up, too, because we want to give Grace a big round of applause as she gets a ping pong ball in each bucket. We also want to give her a big round of applause in case she misses. Let her know that everything's okie dokie, fun, no okie, fine. <laughs> Okay, we're ready to go. She's got the ping pong ball, and we're going for bucket number one. Yeah! yeah. Way to go, Grace! You've won some delicious Act 2 microwave popcorn from Golden Valley Food. Nice way to start. Grab another ping pong ball from Josh, and try to get bucket number two. Do -do 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 -do. Jiminy Kazooks, Grace! Nice going. Another delicious treat for you. It's Bozo Waffle Cones from the Ace Baking Company. Two down, four to go. Grab the ping pong ball and see if he can't go for bucket number three. Yes, indeed, indeed, indeed. Hoop -de -doo 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 -doo. Another delicious treat, and this one's a giant one. It's a two foot tall Tootsie Roll full of two tons of Tootsie Roll treats. <laughs> boy, oh boy, you got a great smile. She's real excited, pals as she goes for bucket number four. Oh, a rim shot that bounced away. Let's hear it for Grace! But she's still real excited because she knows that her Uncle Don can win the rest of the prizes, so do the old switcheroonie. He worked. Don's been up working all night. Yeah, so he lived. Boy, oh boy. You working all night, Keith? Well, maybe he's a little bleary-eyed, but I think that he might be able to get buckets four, five, and six. But I think we better help him out. Pals, what do you say? Let's get our hands up and help out Don. Don. Here we go once again. Take careful aim at bucket number four. Oh, it bounced over four and into five. But let's hear it for Don. Well, I'm afraid we got to stop the game there. But Grace, you've got some nice prizes here. Wow, 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 wow. I've got some microwave popcorn for you. Here, stand right there. Already. Yeah, let me see. I've also got some Bozo Wobble Cones for you and a super tall Tootsie Roll. Some great prizes here. Not only that, but our home player, Lauren Young of Berwyn, has won the same prizes. Way to go, Lauren. <laughs> yes, indeed you do. Now, pals, if you'd like to be just like Lauren Young was today and be a home player on the grand prize game, all you have to do is write to us here at the Bozo Show. P.O. Box 8300, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, 19101. And if we choose your card, you too could be a winner on the Grand Prize Game! Yeah! <laughs> wow, 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 wow. Way to go, Grace. Tom, you did a great job. Yeah. 
Kellogg's Pop Tarts are popping up. up, up. Now there's a cool place to get the flavor of apples and cinnamon. New apple cinnamon Pop-Tarts from Kellogg's. Big apple taste with a touch of cinnamon that'll knock you out. General Hawk's got something to say. New G.I. Joe talking battle commander. Each says three different battle commands. And an all-new combat sound. There's Stalker. Cobra Commander. Overkill. And General Hawk. G.I. Joe. Joe talking battle commanders, each sold separately. It's Michelle's third birthday. Happy birthday to me. And the guys are planning a party. Hey, Joe, you want to help me come blow up some of these nifty balloons? Would you, would you, would you, would you, would you? They're turning the living room into a circus. The best circus is a messy circus. But when Jesse and the girls get locked in a garage, Michelle may miss her party. Don't worry. Uncle Jesse's coming up with a plan right now to get us out of here. Well, on the next Full House, tonight at 7 on Philly 57. It would be strange if you saw people on the street with their heads stuck down. Hello? Hello? It wouldn't make any sense at all. It's your piece. But it would make sense to see a turtle like that, like Head Drop and Don, Head Drop and Raph, Head Drop and Leo, or Head Drop and Mike, but not Mrs. Dinkelmeyer. No, Head drop and turtles just squeeze their legs and their heads pop up. <laughs> From Playmates. <laughs> want to blur. <laughs> we have ways of making you talk. Oh, Shredder's right. Because with the talking turtle, all you have to do is just pull the sound strip and... <laughs> hey, dude, that's my line. Well, how about... <laughs> Sounds good to me. Each of the talking turtles come with two of their own talking clip strips. Plus, you can get more strips separately. So when Shredder talks tough, the turtles always get the last word. Now <laughs> we're talking. From Playmate. What's this? <gasps> a genie. Now I can get tricks. A fruity part of this complete breakfast. You have three wishes. A giant bowl of tricks. One. A giant spoon. Two. Oh, boy. Orangey orange, grapey purple, lime green. Oh, I wish the kids could see me now. That's three. <gasps> Billy Rabbit. I know. Tricks are for kids. Now you can get a magic spoon of your own. It changes color when you use it. One free in mock boxes of tricks. On the next Saved by the Bell, Screech's parents are leaving town. Here are a few little house rules. And the guys are ready for some risky business. But it ain't a party until something gets broke. Looks like the king is dead. Can the gang bring Elvis back to life? I got it, I got it. On Saved by the Bell. Tonight at 5.30 here on Philly 57.
cares, Butch? I got it, Bozo. Listen. We repeat, warning, all ships in the waters around Maroon Lagoon. A sea serpent has been reported in that area. Hear that, boss? A real, honest, to goodness, live sea serpent. Nonsense, Bozo. There's no such a thing as a sea serpent. Do sea serpents ever have polka dots, Bozo? Well, polka dotted sea serpents sometimes do, Butch. Why? Bozo, I just saw... Butch, speak to me, boy. Hi, Bozo. Steady, Butch. You'll be okay. And maybe a little fresh air. Come on. Honest, Bozo. I saw it. Him, uh, the sea serpent. I can answer that in two words, Butch. Impossible. There's positively no such animal as a sea serpent. Bozo, look behind you. I don't see nothing but the sea. See? Bozo, there he is, again. <laughs> Butchy boy, I reckon I've proved there's no such thing as a sea-going sea... Sea... Bozo, look out! No, cut that out! Quit slobbering on me! Gee, Bozo, he's a friendly sort of a sea serpent. He's just hungry, Butch. Here, Mr. Sea Serpent, I brought you some lunch. Be right back with some goodies, Butch. No, boy, watch your manners. Don't be a hog, Mr. Sea Serpent. Oh, this buster, that soap. You'll be sorry. Bozo, what's eating the sea serpent? It's what he's been eating. <laughs> Too much soap ain't good for a growing sea serpent. <laughs> like so, I hope. Bobo, <laughs> Bozo, uh, what's that thing? Him? Oh, he's just a sea serpent friend of mine. Friend or no friend, that thing has got to go. But boss, he likes me. Bozo, get that silly sea serpent off of my ship. Stand by to get the heck out of here. Hurry, before that silly sea serpent dumps us in the drink. The banker, and away we go. Did we give that twerpy serpent the slip yet, Bozo? Nope, he's still following us, boss. I'll give her the gun, son. I don't see that sea monster now. Well, it's one sea serpent we outsmarted. Yep, we outthunk that serpent fella. <laughs> Bozo, don't look now, but we got company. Drop this tub, Bob. Bozo, we're gonna ditch that nosy sea serpent once and for all. Well, I reckon we all fought that old sea serpent already. Frankly, I'm not sure who I boxed who. Can I help with the farm of growing sea serpent? Mm. I don't blame you. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes, I wouldn't believe it either. <laughs> <laughs> a wild and crazy bozo game we're building on it real good today why this is a kooky contractors game yeah. <laughs>
Look at here. I've got two kooky contractors right here. Let me introduce them to you. What's your name there, pal? Courtney. Courtney? Where do you live, Courtney? Pennsylvania. Whereabouts in Pennsylvania? Glen Mills. Glen Mills, Pennsylvania. Do you like building things? Yep. Well, you're going to get your chance today, that's for sure. And this pal here, what's your name? Brian. Brian, where do you live? Philadelphia. Philadelphia. Have you ever been on TV before? Yeah. Really? When were you on TV before? Your show. You were on the Bozo Show before? Man, well, you finally got a chance to play a game, right? Well, great. Let's hear it for our players, Brian and Courtney. Yes, indeed, you do. Well, each of these pals have a barrel full of these uh, delicious <laughs> cakes that we're using as girders today. And they're nice and flexible, just like steel. And on the tables right in front of them, we've also got some... Uh, some mortar, what we're going to be calling mortar, okay? But what these pals have to do is build as tall a building or a wall with these little girders as they can. And the pal that builds the tallest building when we call time is going to be our winner. Now, both of our pals, just for playing the Kooky Contractors game, are going to be taking home a Rabbit Ears storybook and cassette from Rabbit Ears Productions. And the winner also takes home a Rabbit Ears video from Rabbit Ears Productions. So you ready to start building there? How about you, Brian? You ready to start building? Yeah. Let's hear it for Frank Lloyd Wright and all the pals here on your mark. Get set. Go, 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 go. Yeah, look at him. Oh, my. Oh, boy, we're making a mess here. Oh, that's good. <laughs> boy, oh, boy. You got to put stuff in between. Stuff in between. You got to put the stuff in between. There you go. Oh, yeah, she's doing multi-layers here. Ah, what a mess. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> there we go. Now we got the idea. Okay. Well, she's going for the double thickness. And so is Brian. Boy, they're both going for a big base there. Look at her go. Oh, my gosh. Make sure you get the cream in between. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Look at these. Well, we're certainly getting a wide base. Well, <laughs> we're not getting so much of a height as we are width. But they're going for a nice firm base. Hey, you got to put the cream underneath. Got to put the cream in the, underneath there. Yeah, there you go. Oh, she's got it. Wait, oh, look at these mortars going up. <laughs> it's getting really fast. And it's my gosh. <laughs> It's the Great Wall of Philadelphia growing right up here out of the Bozo Studio floor. Oh, my gosh. We're still taller. Keep it on. Keep it going. Keep on going. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> wow. We got right in there. Oh, my gosh. Yes, indeed you do. How oh, somebody count down. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Well, my gosh, this is going to be another tough one to judge here, pals. I'll tell you what, I'll use the spoon as a measure. And if we put it right there, we see that it comes right up to about the top of my finger there. Okay, let's move it right on over there and see if it comes to the top of my finger. Well, pals, it looks as though it's just slightly higher. Do you think it's just slightly higher here, pals? Everybody is saying no. Do you believe it? I think we have another top. My gosh, we have both of the same heights here with all these tricky girders. So we're going to award all the prizes to all the both of the pals here, which is the Rabbit Ears Storybook and Cassette and the Rabbit Ears Video. Let's hear it for him. Way to go, pal. <laughs> I told you this was a kooky game, and there's a whole lot more kook kooky fun coming up, so you stay right where you are. Wowie, cuz owie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yes, indeed you do. Oh.
friends. Are you in the market for a new car? Welcome to Ralph Turtleton. You say you're a good guy. I got just the car for you. Mike's Cowabunga Surf Buggy with surfboard bumper, soda can machine guns, spike beach ball bomb. And for you bad guys, here's the Shredder Mobile with reciprocating guns, slice and dice hooked hubs, and shredding missiles. All yours for no money down, no installments. You just pay for it. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles from Playmates. Saying no to drugs is a matter of control. It's in your hands, so don't let someone else push you into it. Say no. For information, call DARE America. You can start something cool with the hot taste of Kellogg's Pop-Tarts. So cool. Pop-Tarts? Ben's hiding a terrible secret. Is your butt making a phone call? And only dear brother Mike can help. I'm in terrible trouble. I'm at the end of my rope. Ben's sneaking around with a girl he doesn't really like just to be popular. And when mom and dad find out... I'll tell you everything and I won't hold anything back. Can Mike save the day? How much have you told him? On the next Growing pain. Tonight at 6.30 here on Philly 57. good time here on the Bozo Show today. Let me thank a real special group of gals that came down to be with us. Let's hear it for Brownie Troop number 909 from St. Thomas the Apostle School in Glen Mills, Pennsylvania. Not to mention their leaders, Denise Raymond, Donna Delafranco, and Barbara Whitehead. Thanks to them for bringing all the pals down. And everybody, thank you for coming down, down to the show today. And we want to thank you for coming down when you do. But the only way you can come down is if you write to us for tickets to the Bozo Show. P.O. Box 8300, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, 19101. Yeah. And don't forget to send us a self-addressed stamped envelope, S-A-S-E. -S -E. We'll hurry those tickets back to you. Well, pals, it's time to say adios for now. But until we see each other the next time on the Bozo Show, don't forget what your old pal Bozo always says, just keep... Loving! Provided by Libby's Juicy Juice with 100% real fruit juice. Reese's Pieces from Hershey's. You'll love them to pieces. Rabbit Ears Productions, family entertainment that doesn't go in one ear and out the other. International Games, makers of Deluxe Uno and other family fun games. Act 2 Microwave Popcorn. Ace Baking Company, makers of Bozo Waffle Cones. Tootsie Roll Industries, makers of the two-foot-tall Tootsie Roll full of two tons of Tootsie Roll treats and the Academy of Natural Sciences, 19th and the Parkway in Philadelphia. Susie's Boots provided by Dan Shoes, 1733 Chestnut and 1204 Chestnut Street in Philadelphia. The Bozo Show is a Larry Harmon production. The Bozo Show has been brought to you in part by Playmate Toys, makers of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle action figures, by Wonder Bread, and by Lionel Kitty City. We turn frowns upside down with our lower prices and bigger selection.